right, hello and welcome back. So real quick, before we get into the main campaign again, I did a couple things. So I have more XP now. I got more skill points, which in fact I'm probably going to use in a second here. We did Brock and Sidri's favors, which I guess is what side quests are called in this game. Um, but the, it seems like each one of those is part of like a, a little quest line for each one of them. So I did them separately. So I have XP from that, a whole bunch of XP from that. And then also I checked, I went to see uh, Muspelheim to see that realm because we unlocked the, the travel rune for it. I just did a little bit of it. Um, I was going to, the plan is for Muspelheim is I'm going to make it its own part when I complete the whole realm because it's like kind of a, an arena realm. Like you just go in there and you fight waves of bosses and it gives you these embers where you can craft good gear. So I all I did was craft the waistband that you're seeing. So I'm a little bit stronger there, but that is it. So all I got was my chest piece, not my chest piece, sorry, my waist. I got this belt, which I think looks really cool. Um, that's all I was able to get because I didn't go too far in the, in the, <laughs> in the realm quite yet. Um, and then all that XP, you see, I got 16, thousand xp i used some of it already i think i just put him into atreus's combat and i also was able to upgrade his bow because i got enough money for that so that's the only thing you missed between the last part and this part and now i'm gonna cut back to the main campaign all right hello and welcome back so we just got finished talking to the the world serpent and we have a new destination that we're headed towards we're gonna go over here but first, I came back in to see if Brock had new dialogue, and he does. So let's hear what he has to say. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He knows why. I know why. You know why. Quiet. No more of this. You know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what our name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You one bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her that bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Oh my god, I totally forgot all about his <laughs> his like bird mule thing. I don't really know what the hell it was. I can't believe he ate her. That's so friggin' funny. Alright, let's keep it going. Alright, to the boat! So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Oh, I want to explore. We have to go all the way down here now. The water is so low. That's crazy! Look at all that stuff we can explore. The world is our oyster. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. 
Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Freya end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. Alright. So, uh, sorry for all the cuts. Um, I just wanted you guys... I was boating around quite a bit and Mimir and um, Atreus were talking and I wanted you guys to be able to follow the their little lore. So that's why you got to see... You were taken from this realm too early. So that's why you saw me boating around <laughs> a lot in different areas is because I just wanted you guys to be able to hear all of their dialogue. In case you wanted to hear it. I don't know. Some people do. I know I would. I love their dialogue. You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you. Make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's Sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Ooh, recover Gulvig's bones. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Huh. Wait, what is this? Oh, we just needed to go up here to pull the wench down? Is that what I'm gathering? I think that's the information I'm getting. Ah! <laughs> 
good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Be ready. Huh? Oh. Hey, yeah. okay. Shit. I felt that one go Yeah, me too. <laughs> How come I don't have any of my runic attacks? What the hell? Dead at least. I can't see shit. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. No, oh, we were done here. We just needed to hop on the boat. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, but the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Rimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Yeah. Area discovered northern dock. Are we doing this? We're doing this. I just need to unlock this, I think. Because I feel like they only pop up here in this when we open the portal. Could be wrong, but that's what it seems like. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. A what? What does this do? Oops. Oh. Oh god. Brother, looks like that crystal is running again. One minute. Come 
are you? Reese could chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Oh. This poor guy died to Thor. We need this, too. More hidden chambers. What is going on? Oh, that's where the guy popped out, right? Give me my oh, chest. Trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. I get a ton of stuff to upgrade Atreus's bow and stuff, but his bow is just costs so much money. That's the only holdup for it. Otherwise, I think I'd have his bow maxed out if I had the money for it. I don't trust that thing one bit. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Damn, another freaking chamber? Up is where we need to go. What do we got for bracers here? Holy sh- Oh, I lose my luck, though. Wait, how do I lose- Oh, because that had luck in it. Okay, so I don't actually lose luck. I gain ten more strength. A ton more runic. Hmm. That would be better, though. It is level four. How do I... Oh, swap. Oh, okay. That's really helpful. You could just swap your things. Oh, I gotta put stuff in this. Hold on one second. On any successful parry. I guess we could do that. Ooh. <gasps> that for sure. Nice. Okay. <gasps> wow. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Oh yeah, well hold on. Hold on. I gotta use my skill points. Honestly, I might give them all to Atreus. Because his is so good. The fire rate? I don't really have a problem with that. This is good though. I like the shock. I think I'm gonna fully max out Atreus. Or we'll do the fire rate too. Get him completely done. I don't know. I don't know.
Mark. Look at him ready. You can hear how tight he's pulling that bow. I like can't lock onto this enemy. Ice Ancient? Oh shit. <laughs> Not ready for that. Frozen, son. Getting really frozen here. I'm not doing any damage, but it's giving me my health back, so I'll take that trade on. I'm working on the boy. <laughs> Just give me a friggin' second. I can't see. Holy shit, holy shit. That was exhausting. That was so exhausting. Increases resistance to frost attacks. That could be very good. Where did we even come from? I got so turned around. An all-fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. I do see that. I also see that red gunk. What does it say? Sir. To Njord we offer back the seas bound. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Hmm. That was so intense. I think we came out of here, right? We came out of his hand? Yeah, we did. Alright, we've got to open this chest. Ooh, bracers. Okay. Sure, why not? So, a waste piece is incoming. 
but I will probably not use it, to be honest. Considering I've got some good pants. Alright, so if I hit this stuff... Oh, the freaking thing is... There's only one of them. Okay, well there's that. Now what's over here? Oh, this is gonna be really tricky. That's right, I don't know about this one. I need to throw some sap, right? Because you can't... You can't hit that. Tricky! Hey! Hardened World Tree Sap! Oh! That's Andy. We'll get closer. Or I chuck this. to get up there. <laughs> what is this? Dust around so we didn't have to fight guys that were way above our level for that. That was the last last rift I opened up. The one and only rift I've opened in this walkthrough. It's two guys that were way too over leveled for me. <laughs> way back at the beginning. This is a. I think it's more than that. that last one's gonna be such a pain in the neck. Oh, that was it. Okay, so I need to get this. I don't know how I'll do it, but I've got to get it. Tell me that's all I needed. Damn it. No, it isn't. Damn. <laughs> Listen, this isn't as easy as it may look. Ooh, that did not go well. Did this... Did I get it? Hell yes. Legendary enchantment. Wow. Interesting. Let's actually take a quick look at it. Gotten all of that checked out. We got that done. Let's 
time to move on. Follow the blood trail here. Oh, jeez. Wow! I don't even have to do anything. That was a nice shot. Alright, and that is it for part 14 of God of War. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.